All right, so I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way to cube a watermelon. So what do you need to cube a watermelon? The most important part is a watermelon. The rest of the things you need, you need a knife, nice big knife, not a tiny knife, can't cut a watermelon with a tiny knife. You need a big knife. You also need a cutting board so that we don't cut up our counter. Another thing you need is a plastic bag or something to contain the watermelon rind after you're done with it. So I like to use a plastic bag, it makes it easy to get out of the kitchen. All right, so here we go. Take your giant knife. I've already obviously cut the watermelon into quarters. Makes it a lot easier to deal with. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut horizontal cuts all the way through the watermelon. Go as deep as you can. Don't cut your thumb off though. We like our thumb. All right, we're gonna do two on this side. We're gonna spin it around. This side's taller. So we're probably gonna get three cuts out of this side. You can do more if you want smaller cubes. This is the size I like mine. All right, we're gonna spin it around and we're gonna cut Cut across all the way through. You want to get all the way down to the rind. So I'm actually like curving the knife through so we get all the way through so we don't lose any yummy watermelon. Still making sure we don't cut off our hand. All right, and then we want to get the edges because we don't want to lose any of the edges. So we're going to run the knife just all the way through as deep as you can, all the way around the edges. Go back up, spin it around, do this side. Those pieces are for the chef. Get a nice big container that you can, will fit all of this in. And you just take it, tip it up, the whole thing just slides up. That's how to keep a watermelon.